people are leaving BMW, Mercedes, and Lexus for Audi than ever before. Porsche unveiled the concept version of the 918 Spyder here a couple of years ago. They weren't just hinting at their new hypercar, they were also giving us a glimpse of the next generation Boxster. And two years on, here it is, looking like a crossbreed of the 918 and the Carrera GT. It looks magnificent. The new Boxster comes clothed in an aluminum shell which helps save £90 and that benefits both performance and economy. Hiding under here is a choice of two flat six engines, both of which are available with either a six speed manual transmission or a seven speed flappy paddle PDK. The entry level Boxster now boasts a 2.7 litre engine in place of the old 2.9 but power is actually up from 255 to 261 horsepower. The S with its 3.4 litre engine now boasts 311, that's just one more pony than before. Porsche reckons the standard car is good for 0 to 60 in 5.4 seconds and that the S manages the same sprint in 4.7 seconds. The new Boxster S is also 12 seconds a lap faster around the Nürburgring Nordschleife than the old model. That's 7 minutes 58 for you ring geeks. Inside the Boxster takes its inspiration from the latest 991-911. It's all very business-like and Teutonic in the best Porsche tradition and it feels beautifully built. The hood is now fully automated and this beauty will go topless in a mere nine seconds. The Boxster has always been the poor man's Porsche, but of course all things are relative. The base car will start from $50,000 and the S from 62. It hits US showrooms this summer, but we'll be driving this car before the end of the week, which is fantastic news for the guy who got the gig.
adapted and unlike any hybrid you have ever known. Introducing the most fuel efficient luxury car available. The radically new 42 mile per gallon CT Hybrid from Lexus. Welcome to the darker side of green. Price for the biggest marketing nonsense here in Geneva goes to Mercedes for the SL63 AMG. Now you can have a standard car with 530 horsepower and 590 pounds feet of torque, or you can opt for the AMG Performance Package, which gives you 557 horsepower and 664 pounds feet of torque. Now, how many owners will feel the difference is a bit of a mute point, but imagine the gut wrenching embarrassment of turning up at your local country club in the standard car. Avoiding that has to be worth a few grand. Assuming you pay the extras, let's face it, most owners will. You'll have a 5.5 litre twin turbo V8 capable of 0 to 60 in 4.1 seconds and 186 miles an hour. Now, Mercedes has also reduced the weight of the car by 275 pounds compared to the old model, so you get reduced exhaust emissions and a 30% improvement in fuel efficiency. So you'll be cheap -er to run. AMG's engineers have also reworked pretty much the entire chassis, the suspension, the steering, the brakes, the exhaust, to transform the SL from a Feridian favourite into a proper performance tool. They've also heavily modified the styling with an extravagant mix of swoops and spoilers. It's certainly dramatic, but still not pretty. Inside you get some AMG branded trinkets, lashings of carbon fibre, a roof that will do its thing in just 20 seconds and in this car some pretty dubious red leather. There's a bit of a watch bore, I also really like this little IWC clock. We expect this SL63 AMG to be in US showrooms by mid-July, about two months after the standard SL.